Viewer discretion is advised. LSPDFR is filmed on location as it happens. All suspects are considered innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. I am the Gen X Gamer. Thank you so much for joining me in this brand new episode. Today, we are with none other than Casey Rybeck. Deputy Rybeck will be running some traffic, taking some calls today, and he'll be cruising around in this Blaine County Sheriff Chevy Tahoe. It is the 2018. As you know, in our last couple episodes, we've been using the 2018 Dodge Charger. And like always, I will have the link to these vehicle packs in the description below. But this is a pretty nice vehicle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and kick this episode off and see what we step into today. All right, we just had this red truck blow right through the stop sign, so we're going to whip around, find out why we're running stop signs today. Yes, sir. Can't be doing that around here. There's just no reason to be running stop signs like that straight through. I mean, he didn't even roll it. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what's going on with this particular person. Central 3, Lincoln 12. Show me with traffic. Go ahead. Request plate 68 Zebra. Boy, Paul, 024. It's going to be a red truck, 4x4. Occupied one times. Target license plate, 68 Zebra, Boy, Paul, 024. A traffic felony. Proceed with caution. All right, looks like so far a flag for a suspended license. One prior citation. Let's go ahead and touch base with this individual. Hello, sir. Deputy Ryback with the Sheriff's Department. Reason for the stop is you blew that stop sign back there. There's no reason for doing that, sir. That is for sure. You're going to get somebody killed. You have your driver's license registration and proof of insurance. Let's see some ID, huh? All right, guys. We're also getting a strong odor of narcotics. All right, sir. Uh, hang tight for me. I'll be right back with you. Strong odor of narcotics. Let's go ahead and look at his record here. Okay, once again, everything with the vehicle is valid. Suspended driver's license. All right. Let's go ahead and look into that. So basically, a suspended is not having any driver's license whatsoever. So no driver's license. We're going to hit him with that. And then let's also get him for the moving violation, which was failing to stop. Running a stop sign right there. So we'll get those. And then uh, let's look at um, license registration. Driving while, sus driving while license suspended with knowledge. Okay, we haven't determined that yet. Let's go ahead and question him a little bit further here. All 
All right, sir, there's going to be a few citations today. Actually, a couple of them so far. For running that stop sign back there and then uh, not having a valid driver's license. If you would, please sign the bottom of that. It's not an admission of guilt. just makes you aware that you've received the, these citations and they need to be taken care of. Within a 14-day period, you can take care of them one of three ways. You can call the 1-800 number on the back of the ticket. Pay for it with any major debit or credit card. You can also visit the website on the back of the citation and pay for it there. Or you can go down, sir, to the district court and take care of it there. But keep in mind, sir, this has to be taken care of, uh, you know, on or before your court date, which is 14 days from now. So do you understand this, sir? Okay. Now I got a couple questions for you in regards to your uh your driver's license it's showing sir that your driver's license is it is suspended why are you driving with a suspended driver's license i swear i didn't know that my driver's license is suspended okay sir well yes it is suspended so you're not going to be able to drive this vehicle today however i am not going to arrest you okay so i'm going to cut you a break on that you need to take care of these fines you need to get your life straightened around and get your driver's license back. Okay? I'm cutting you a big, big, big break here. You understand me, sir? All right, so here's what we're going to do. Why don't you step outside the vehicle? Thank you, sir. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, end up towing your vehicle. Hold but I am noticing, sir, that you guys got a quick crashing over there. I did notice, sir, that you have a strong, strong odor of narcotics. It's all permeating throughout your truck, your clothes, all of that. So here's what we're going to do, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Unbelievable. Don't need to be getting killed today. My goodness. Sir, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask for your consent to take a drug test will you consent to a drug test sir okay you will all right i appreciate that sir we're just going to go ahead and give you a drug test here just get thank you we'll see what the results is all right sir all right it came back you are positive for cocaine so unfortunately i'm gonna need you to turn around for me Put your hands behind your back. You are going to jail today for being under the influence of narcotics while driving. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get away from this nut job. Making all kinds of racket. Unbelievable. Just go. All right, sir. You got anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me, harm me, make me bleed? Any of that kind of thing? No? Okay. I'm going to pat you down. Make sure you don't have anything on you. Four grams of marijuana, huh? You like the marijuana? All right, sir. So come along with me. We're going to put you into the rear of the vehicle for now. I do appreciate your cooperation with everything. I will note that in the report. All right. Well, unfortunate day for him. Let's go ahead and uh, search the vehicle, see if there is anything else in here. And marijuana shake. Okay, so we're going to definitely get him for some marijuana. He's got cocaine in his system. So he's going to be going to jail for those reasons today. All right, let's go ahead and head on down here to drugs, marijuana. Get him on that charge. And then we're going to also get him on driving under the influence of drugs. It's a first time offense. 
and we'll submit those charges. All right, Centro Three, Lincoln Twelve. I got one in custody. Roger that. Suspect is ten fifteen in uh, Sandy Shores. Is transport required? A firm. Roger. Transport required. Three Lincoln Twelve. Can you roll me a flatbed to my location? Yeah, we'll get a flatbed. Flatbed. Assistance required. In All right. Sandy Shores. And off he goes to jail. This truck will be towed on out of here shortly. And, uh, well, we got someone off the streets that could definitely have killed somebody being under the influence like that. So, always remember don't drink and drive, and don't be on drugs and driving. This is what'll happen. All right, we just got another vehicle, ran the stop sign at Panorama Drive and Joshua Road. This is an ongoing problem in Sandy Shores, so we're going to pull this vehicle over and find out uh, find out what his deal is or her deal. Are they on drugs also, or are they just being ignorant and running stop signs? Here we go. Center 3, Lincoln 12, show me with traffic. Marina Drive. Go ahead. Request plate 86, Charles Henry King 596. It's going to be a silver bison. Occupied one times. Another bison. Target license plate. Eight, six, Charles, Henry, King, five, nine, six. A traffic violation. A warrant issued. Proceed with caution. All right, looks like uh, expired. I didn't quite catch it. Expired registration and then um, an outstanding warrant. We're going to go ahead and call for backup. Three Lincoln 12 request additional. Roger. Backup required. And Sandy Shores. And we'll wait till backup gets here. Hmm. Another disappearing AI vehicle. Definitely want some backup today with the whole uh, warrant issue. Of course, this guy's complicating things when they pull up like that. All right, this one has a warrant and uh, was running the stop sign at Panorama Drive and Joshua Road. Hello, sir. Deputy Ryback from the Sheriff's Department. The reason for the stop is over there on Panorama Drive and Joshua Road. You just blew through that stop sign coming across Joshua Road. You have your driver's license registration proof of insurance? Okay, we're going to get all the documentation here. Perfect. All right. And then also we are going to ask the individual to leave the vehicle. Just need to talk to you for a minute, sir. Okay, sir. If you would. Uh, Wait a sec, buddy. If you would, go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. There is a warrant out for your arrest. Well, I'll let you know here in a minute, sir, what the warrant's for. You got anything that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me, harm me? I got to pat you down here for my safety and yours. Anything at all? 
No, don't feel like talking? All right, well, I'm not sure. What are you doing, the happy dance? Okay, he went back over. All right. Two grams of marijuana, three grams of marijuana. All right, so you got uh, got some marijuana baggies, huh? All right, let's go ahead and uh, you want to give him a drug swab test. Let's make sure he was okay to drive. While you're doing that, I am going to search this vehicle. Thank you, God. So he's positive for cocaine, and we also have a shotgun here. All right, another one that likes the cocaine. That's the second one today. All right, sir, at this time you are going to be under arrest for driving under the influence of a narcotic. Also for the grams of marijuana. First, I'm going to read you your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand these rights I've just read to you? Okay, sir, with these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to us? You wish to speak to us at all? Nothing to say? All right, sir, I understand. I'm going to go put him in the back of my car real quick here. All right, so uh, first thing we are going to do is the citation and end of things here. Let's go ahead and just look at everything with the vehicle. So the registration is expired. Yes. And the warrant is for attempted car theft. Interesting. All right, so we'll get him on the registration expired. And then let's also go ahead and get him on the moving violation, which was failure to stop at, at a stop sign. It'd be this one here. Get those submitted. And then let's also go ahead and create the rest report. Let's look at his other arrests. He has quite a few on there. Let's back that up. Let's look at that again. Looks like there's quite a few. Wow, this guy's something else. Indecent exposure, hit and run, possession of a controlled sub substance. Warrant for illegal broadcasting back in 2019 and 2018. Not sure what that's about. Maybe he's using a ham-operated device without a license or something of that nature. But it's not our problem today. So let's go ahead and get him on the drugs which he had plenty of marijuana on him, and then also get him for driving under the influence of drugs because he was high on the cocaines. He likes the cocaines too. And we will also get him on that, uh, that warrant for attempted car theft. So let's go ahead and hit that one too. Theft, robbery, burglary. Let's see. Attempted robbery. There it is. Attempted car theft. Penal code 664. That's what we'll be bringing him in for. Because he has an active warrant. And that's pretty much going to do it for him. We'll go ahead and give him... Let's give him his citations through the window. All right, sir, here's your information back. Here are your citations for the registration and for running the stop sign. So hang on to that. We'll get you processed down there through court, and I'll have you sign that information uh, once once they get you processed. I'll have you sign that citation. All right, uh, are you going to be able to take him? Do you want to take him today? Yeah? All right. Sounds good. Center 3, Lincoln 12, I got one in custody. 10-4, suspect in custody in Sandy Shores. Is transport required? Affirmative, I got a unit here that will take him in for me. 10-4, copy that, transport required. 3, Lincoln 12, can you also roll me a flatbed, Marina Drive? 
Roger that. A person down. Is medical aid required? Negative. Ten four. Three Lincoln twelve. Can you roll me a flatbed? All right, we'll go ahead and get the flatbed out here. Flatbed. Assistance required in Sandy Shores. He's going to take him. All right, man. That is going to do it. So you are uh, you're free to go, dude. You're free to go, man. You're free to go. Thank you so much for your help. All right, well, another one going to jail. Kind of the same situation, driving under the influence of drugs, and uh, he'll be spending this nice sunny day behind bars. Seto 3, Link of 12, show me 10-6. 10-4, copy that. Ten, six. I've got a vehicle here that has an expired registration. It was flagged on the ALPR light. We're scanning the plate, so we'll touch base with them and see why their registration is expired. Central 3, link of 12, request plate check 47, Robert Nora, Ocean 136. There we go. Target license plate 47, Robert Nora, Ocean 136. A traffic violation. Proceed with caution. All right, expired registration, expired insurance. Find out why all this is expired. Hello, sir. Deputy Ryback with the Sheriff's Department. The reason for the stop today is scanned your plate and it's coming back with no registration and no insurance. Do you have all your documentation for me? Can you hand that Let's to me? ID, huh? All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Is there any reason why those are expired? Your registration and your insurance? Not, uh, you know, why is it expired past 30 days? Well, why should I have to pay again? Because you have to pay every single year. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed at all. But what about the insurance? Well, you've got expired insurance. What's going on there? No, that's not right. All right, sir. Hang tight for me. I'll be right back with you. It's obvious this guy just doesn't believe in documentation. <laughs> Let's see what's up. Good Lord. Yeah. I mean, look at this. One's expired a whole year, the insurance... So he's been driving without insurance for a whole year. And the registration's been a half a year. And look at that. Failure to prevent no insurance back in 2019. So this guy has a history of this. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit him 30 days plus on that. Expired registration. Expired insurance. Uh, 30 days plus and he actually did present it but it was uh, all expired so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> these, these people oh my goodness let's uh, take a look down here at the whoops go in here let's see here Anything in here? Driving with no registration, basically. Driving with no insurance. Yeah. They're misdemeanor charges, but he's got a history of it, so I'm not cutting him a break today. He is going to be paying the piper. All 
All right, sir, here is your information back. You are getting citations today for the expired insurance and registration. I mean, you can't be driving around a year with none of that and six months with the other one. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to need you to sign the bottom of this citation, sir. It's uh, not an admission of guilt. Just lets you know that this has to be taken care of within a 14-day period. You can take care of it one of three ways. On the back of the citation there, you can call the 1-800 number, pay for it. That way, any major credit card, debit card will work. Also, there's a website on the back of the citation. You can pay for it there, or you can actually go down to district court and pay for it there. But remember, sir, you only have 14 days to take care of that. Your court date is 14 days from now. Do you understand these instructions, sir? All right, so you're going to need to take care of that. But also, I have some... Bad news for you, sir. You got to step out of the vehicle for me for a minute here. And I'm going to need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back. You are going to be arrested today, sir, for not having legitimate insurance and registration on the vehicle. You can't do that. If it was within 30 days, I would understand that more. But being a year six months to a year is absolutely ridiculous plus you have a history of doing this so sir before we go any further you have the right to be silent anything you say can it will be used against you in a court of law you have a right to an attorney if you cannot afford one one will be appointed for you do you understand these rights i have just read to you sir okay you got anything on you sir that's gonna poke me stick me hurt me make me bleed i've got to patch it out All right, you say you have nothing. Okay. All right, very good, sir. You were honest with me about that. Let's go ahead and... For now, I'm going to put you... Uh, I'll just have you stand right here, sir. I won't put you in the vehicle. You can just stand right here for me by the front of the car. I'm going to search your vehicle really quick. Central 3, Lincoln 12. I got one in custody. Let's go ahead and Roger, search the vehicle. 15, suspect in custody in uh, Sandy Shores. Is transport required? I'll advise. What? Roger. <laughs> well, obviously he's got a lot more problems here. Several kilos of cocaine, bags of marijuana, and an IED in the trunk. All right, now, bud, you are going in the back of the vehicle. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and pop you into the vehicle. All right, hang tight for me, buddy. Okay, we've got marijuana, we've got cocaine. Being that there is so much, we're going to go possession of drugs with intent, intent to distribute. There's no way he's using that much. And then, uh, let's see, the IED. Dispatch to um, 3, Lincoln 12, is transport required? I'll advise. Roger. Let's see where we would find that at. Possession of bomb making materials. Do, 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 do. Unlawful throwing of a device. Unlawful discharge. Possession of destructive devices. There we go. Right there. We will nail him for that. And I think one last thing we're going to do with this guy is... We're going to give him a drug test and see if he was under the influence here at all. All right, sir, I'm going to give you a drug swab test. Make sure that you were okay to drive. Since he has so much 
drugs, and of course, he's high on cocaine. Our third cocaine case of the day. Absolutely crazy. All right, sir. Uh, we'll just hold him right here. We'll get uh, transport out here and um, be done with this guy. Center 3, Lincoln 12. Request transport. Roger that. Transport required. Hey, man, you got to lay off these drugs, dude. It's not worth it. And then you have tons of them in the vehicle. So I know you're dealing. Unfortunately, this is the end of the road for you. Dispatch to, um, three. Lincoln, 12. Is transport required? Negative. There's a unit here. 10-4. Copy that. All right, man. Best of luck to you. You know, try and get your life together, all right? Fucking scum! Okay, well, that's a done deal. And we're going to go ahead and get a flatbed out here for this truck. Three, like a 12. Can you roll me a flatbed? Man alive. <clears throat> it's just cocaine, cocaine, cocaine everywhere. Trucks and cocaine. All right, we'll see what else the rest of this day brings. Three, like a 12, show me 10 8. Three Lincoln Twelve, proceed to patrol area. Citizens reporting a 417 in Sandy Shores. Three Lincoln Twelve, show me in route. 10-4, copy. Three Lincoln Twelve. Okay. Respond code three. It looks like we have reports of someone brandishing a weapon. So we're going to try and get there as quick as possible. It's just up the road here. Let's find out from this gentleman what is going on here. 3 Lincoln 12, show me on scene. 10-4, 10, 23. Make sure I have my pistol handy. A firm. I'm gonna get back up down here. 10 4, copy that. Backup required in Sandy Shores. Hello, sir. Did you call 911? Copy dispatch. Yes, sir. I just saw someone brandishing a weapon across the street. When exactly did you see that, sir? I guess about five minutes ago. Okay, we'll try and find. Whoever the individual is, all right, man? Why don't you just stay in the house for now? Go! Go! Okay, be careful, officer. All right, thanks. Appreciate the call. Suspect last seen on, uh, Choya Springs Avenue. Yeah, we got someone brandishing a weapon, according to this complainant, so... I'm going to start rolling around. If you want to talk to him further, you can. I'm going to start rolling around see uh, if we can locate this individual. All right, so he's kind of saying over in this general direction. I don't know if I hear any shots fired or not, but uh, we'll look and see if someone is brandishing a weapon here. See an individual down there? It looks like that's the individual right there. Alright. Go Central 3 Link at 12. Be advised. Black male, red tank top, brandishing a firearm. 10-4. We're going to whip around up here. 
We'll give this as the closest location. Be advised, Armadillo Drive and Marina Drive. Excuse me, Armadillo Avenue and Marina Drive. 10 4. There he is right there. Jeez, oh Pete! Goodness gracious, get down, get down, get down! I got nailed too. Shots fired, shots fired. Officers require assistance near Sandy Shores. Man, we can get that. I'm just getting nailed. Near code four, suspect neutralized. Yeah, after I took th after I took three to the chest. <laughs> Do not move. Do not move. Let's grab that weapon. If it'll let me. Just want to grab the weapon? No. All right, we're going to go ahead and search him. All right, now we got the weapon. Central 3, Lincoln 12, request medical. Neeland Avenue, Marina Drive. Ambulance. Assistance required in Sandy Shores. Jason Muez. So he was apparently up to no good. I sure could use a medical kit. But do you think they'll give me one? Who knows. Hey. Yeah, see what you can do with this one. See what you can do. Oh my goodness. So we'll see if they uh, are able to take care of him or not. If not, we'll have to get the coroner out here. I'm going to pull up a little closer. Maybe we can help shelter the scene a little bit. We can get some of these guys out of here. No luck? Nothing, huh? All right, well, we'll go ahead and uh, get the corner out here. I'm walking home today wounded, and he's not going home at all. Central 3, Lincoln 12, request 1079 at my location. Assistance required in uh, Sandy Shores. There, we'll pull over here, kind of shelter things, so... Some of the public doesn't see this. Hey, fellas. Yeah, ignore that dog. Hey, what's up, puppy? What's up? Oh, yeah. He's a good boy. He's just a good boy. Alright, appreciate you guys rolling out here. I'll get out of your way. Yep, just another day in Sandy Shores. We have an 11351 and the Alamo Sea. 3 Lincoln 12, I'll point that way. Four, three, Lincoln, 12. Okay, it looks like we have someone that is impersonating an officer, possibly. Just up here. We're going to kind of roll up see what the situation is. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. Oh, they're fleeing. Big collision. Big collision. Nope, you're not getting away. He's taking off. He's taking off. 
Three link and 12, I'm in a f pursuit. Oh! Oh boy, did that look dumb. Oh, come on, get out of the way, car. I gotta get the taser out. You just can't tackle, and when you tackle, you look like a complete dork. Stop running! Stop running! You're gonna ride the rails of lightning. I'm telling you. I'm warning you. Plus, you got this thing after you. Stop running. Stop your running. Oh, he's got a freaking gun, too. Stop running. Gotcha. Don't you even think about it. Don't you even think about it. Get on the ground. Do it now. Drop the weapon. Drop the weapon. Get on the ground. Do it now. Do not move. Look at this idiot. Unbelievable. And who in the heck impersonates a police officer wearing a shirt like a skirt? All right, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get this vehicle out of here. First, I am going to search it. See what else is in here. Police radars, radio scanner, handcuffs, parking ticket, cigarettes. Okay. Z03, Lake at 12, could you roll me a hook? And then this is... Oop, I wanted to tow the cop car. Let me go back here again. I gotta wait. Sometimes I forget to do that. We have a criminal resisting arrest in uh, the Alamo Sea. Three Lake at 12, show me 10 6. 10 4 All right. 10. Six. That way we don't have that interrupting us. Ocean one responding. Central 3, Lake of 12, can you roll me a hook? Alright, we'll get a tow truck out here for tow truck. that. And, the Alamo sea. and then this is the vehicle it collided with over here. Yeah, definitely a lot of damage here on this vehicle. Let's go ahead. Maybe we can get the, uh, talk to these guys over here. This vehicle over here, do you want the insurance company to come pick it up or what? We got the truck has some damage. We'll just get the insurance companies out here to pick these up. And then they can assess them and, and uh, submit what they think it's going to cost to get these vehicles fixed. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, three link at twelve. Can you start me an insurance company? Hell yeah. Assistance required and the yep. Alamo C. Three link at twelve, can you roll me insurance company? We'll get them out here for both these vehicles. Assistance required and the Alamo C. That way they can be evaluated for the claims and uh that will do it for this one. They'll come out and handle that. And we're off to uh, our next adventure. Citizens reporting target is carrying a weapon in Sandy Shores. Three Lincoln 12, show me in route. 10 4, copy. Three Lincoln 12. Okay, somebody is carrying a weapon. I'm not going to respond code 3 this close. Um, someone's carrying a weapon. It's potential. Potentially, they have a mental disorder, so... We'll have to uh, assess this situation carefully. Looks like this individual is flagging us down. Must be the complainant. 3 and 12, show me on scene. Twenty-three is backup required. A firm. Hello, sir. Deputy Ryback with the Sheriff's Department. Backup 
required in Sandy Shores. Did you uh did you call 911? Copy that. We're in the vicinity. Yeah, that's me. I'm so scared to see a girl from next door wandering around with a gun. Did she hurt you or anything? No, but I think she has PTSD. I'm afraid she would hurt someone. All right, do you know, did she have military training or something like that? Was she in the military? You don't know? Okay, uh, go ahead and calm down, sir. I'll try and find her. Stay safe inside, okay? Okay, be careful, officer. All right, I appreciate the call. We'll see what we can do, okay? Target last seen in uh, Sandy Shores. So she was last seen, what, over here looking this way? Okay, all right. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Wow, it's been uh, trucks and cocaine, and now we've got uh, people brandishing firearms. Seems to be a lot of patterns today. Where's Where is she at here? Down here somewhere? Oh, right over there? What in the world? Oh my lord. Seriously? Okay, let's um we're gonna drive down here. I don't know what that guy's screaming about, but is this potentially her? Yes it is. Looks like she has a firearm. Three like a twelve be advised. I see the suspect. It's a female in like a yellow dress. Ten four. All right. Well, this isn't going to be pleasant. Ma'am, put down the firearm. Do it now. Ma'am, put down the firearm. Do it now. Ma'am, put down the firearm. Do it now. Ma'am, put down the firearm. Ma'am, drop the firearm. I don't want to kill her if she has a mental disorder. Put down the firearm, ma'am. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, jeez, oh, Pete, I screwed myself. Whoops. Sorry, ma'am. Dang it. Put down the gun. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, and I took another round. Of course. Yep. This is not how I wanted this one to end. Doggone it. All right, let's go ahead and search her. We've got the weapon. Key fob, three grams of marijuana, four grams of marijuana. She's obviously high, and the amount of rounds that she took, it was like she didn't even feel them initially. We're down here. She's long gone, man. Several, several bullets. All right, well, we're going to let the coroner do their thing, and um, we're going to get the flock out of here. Three, like a 12, show me 10 8. Acknowledged. Three, Lincoln 12. Proceed to patrol area. Citizens reporting a disturbance in uh, Sandy Shores. Three Lincoln 12, show me in route. 10 4, 3 Lincoln 12. Alright, looks like we got a call for a domestic. Up here just a little bit. Just up here to the right. Back in here at this mobile home. 
Find out what the situation is, what's going on. Hello, Deputy Ryback from the Sheriff's Office. Just hang tight for me there, sir. Talk to this lady. Hello, ma'am. What's going on here today? Thanks for coming, sir. Can you help me? Yep, I sure can. What's up? That guy is smoking in front of my house and it bothers me. What exactly bothers you about it? I can smell the smoke from inside my house and I want him gone away. Conversation is over. All right, ma'am. I will uh, chat with him and we'll go ahead and have him on his way, okay? All right, sir. Like I said, Deputy Ryback with the Sheriff's Department. Um, what's going on here today? Do you live here? You live a few blocks from here? Okay. Why are you smoking in this spot in her property? Because my wife doesn't want me smoking our house. The smoke is disturbing your neighbor. Can you please move somewhere else? Nope, don't don't you even think about it. Don't you even think about it. You go pull a gun on me? Don't you dare. Piece of crap. Let's go ahead and search the body. I've been shot at enough today. I've had enough. Has he got anything on him? A grenade, small baggie of cocaine, plus he had a weapon. Unbelievable. Mike Stone. Center 3, Lincoln 12. Request medical at my location. Well, we'll see if they revive him here. If they do, he's getting some charges. That is for sure. But it'll just all depend on if he uh, survives here or not. Oh, look at that. He's going to be okay. His lucky day. Yep. Okay, so we have uh, here drugs. He's got cocaine. Let's go ahead and nail him on the cocaine. Just probably up here. There we go. Cocaine. He had some grenades, right? Explosive devices. Possession of destructive devices. And then he also had, um, oops, he also had the firearm on him. Let's go ahead and submit those charges. And here he's got a permit. Yeah, responsible gun ownership right there. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll get out of your way here. I'll go right into the bushes. What's this person doing? Just walking in the middle of the street. Oh my gosh. The baby powder? Pursuit in progress? Three Lincoln 12 and route. All right, looks like we got an active vehicle pursuit. Looks like they're coming in our direction here. Actually, they're going the opposite way, so let's swing back around. At first, I thought they were coming in my direction, but now they are. Down Joshua. Oh, boy. They are... Holy crap! They are firing shots. Three link of, three link of twelve shots fired. Shots fired. Code ninety nine officers require assistance near Sandy Shores. We're gonna head this way. Queen two, we are on our way. This is crazy. Dispatch, we got eyes on that 
Shots fired, shots fired. Dispatch, we got eyes on the target, moving to engage. Dispatch, we got a visual on the perp in pursuit. I see the perp. We're in pursuit. Jeez, oh Pete. Which way are they going? They're going straight. Get us some backup. They're still continuing straight. Okay. Get out of the way. Hey. <laughs> Come on, dude. Get out of the freaking way. Let's see if we can get up ahead. I don't know if we can. They're going to come to a dead end. Oh, no. There goes the bike cop. <laughs> That's my fault, too. Shots fired. Shots fired. That bike cop, he's got a lot of guts, man. Oh, something just happened to my vehicle. What just happened? Uh, looks like I got a flat tire. Ah, crap. Well, looks like we're out of the pursuit. Ended up with a flat frickin' tire. Oh, man. Three like a 12, be advised. I'm down a tire. Well, that sucks, but that is the way it goes if you want to be somewhat realistic. I cut a tire. Probably got shot out when they were shooting at me. Let's see. How many bullet holes do we have here? One, two. We got some front end damage. Three, four. Yeah. We've got a few. Few bullet holes. Few bullet holes. Jeez, OP. Well, we're going to have to get this vehicle fixed and, uh. Hmm. It's a bummer. Hopefully they get him. It looks like they might have him trapped. I don't know. Nope, they're moving again. <laughs> oh, well. What do you do? Central 3, Lincoln 12. Can you start me a hook? We'll get them out here and maybe they can, uh, maybe they can fix it. All right, they were able to come out and uh, fix my tire for me. So they are still in a vehicle pursuit with this vehicle. We'll go ahead and try and see if we can't uh, get back into the fight here. Three Lincoln 12, be advised. I'm back up and running. Oh my gosh. Oh man, we have an officer down here. Officer down. Alright, let's cut these sirens. Oh man. I don't know how long he's been here. Central 3, Lincoln 12, request medical. West Joshua Road, Marina Drive. And hurry, please. Officer is down. Required in Grande Sonora Desert. Come on, guys, we got an officer down here. Man, come on, guys, it's taking them forever to get out of the vehicle. Let's roll. There it is. Yeah, I don't know how long he's been here either. There's still hope. I hope so. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, partner. You can make it. You can make it. Come on. Come on. We don't want to lose one today. I tried my best. Oh, my word. Try harder. 
Try harder. That How did we even show up? Oh man. Center three, Lincoln twelve, request ten seventy nine for our officer. Assistance required in uh Grande Sonora Desert. Well, this becomes priority one over trying to get that van full of criminals. That's one way of doing her. That's one way. Guys just messed up your fender. Alright, well, we tried, man. We tried our best. We tried. All right, we reacquired them here, but man, they are just armed to the gills. I hit one of them. Armed to the gills, man. Right here by the airport. We really need some spike strips. But there's no telling which direction they will go here. Back around we go. Looks like we're going to exit out now. Okay. Try and keep some distance, I guess. Oh, man, they're whipping back around. Three Lincoln 12 request spike strips. Backup required. Eight, one, William, William, Sam, zero, three, six. Oh, no. Doggone it. Got the tires. There we go. Looks like the two in the back are dead. Stopping. Get your hands up. Do it now. Get your hands up. Do not move. There you go. Get her down. Wow. I'm going to check the vehicle, guys. Looks like all three suspects are DOA. Craziness. Well, let's not sit in the car. Let's not do that. But let's get these guys. Yeah, they looks like they're dead too. All right. Let's get out of the way here. Let me. Um Shut my sirens off. Well, that gets loud and crazy. Okay, well, it looks like uh, we need the coroner. Three think at 12, request 1079 at my location, at the front of the airport. Assistance required in Los Santos International Airport. Wow, what a crazy episode this has turned out to be. From guys in trucks being high on cocaine, running stop signs, to everyone wanting to shoot me today. <laughs> it's just been absolutely nuts. But before we conclude this episode, let's take a look at the court cases. First of all, we have Mario. If you remember Mario, Mario had possession of marijuana and was driving under the influence of 
cocaine. Let's go ahead and see the outcomes. He was fined $5,000, four years in prison for the marijuana, and fined $544, license suspended for 22 months. Seven months in prison for a total of $5,544 in fines, four years, seven months in prison. Absolutely craziness. Craziness. Word of the day. Craziness. Okay. Justin Doc. Let's go ahead and look here. Running a stop sign. Expired registration. You have fined one hundred sixty-seven dollars and one hundred forty-five dollars for a total of three twelve. Other charges include possession of marijuana, driving under the influence of drugs. He was fined four thousand dollars, one year in prison, and also fined five hundred twenty-five dollars, license suspended for sixteen months, ten months in prison. So a total of four thousand five hundred dollars, one year, ten months in prison for him on that. Then there were additional charges, which was attempted car theft. We take a look at that. He was fined four thousand dollars four years in prison that was the warrant that we ended up picking him up for if you remember and then also james rev rev i don't think that stands for reverend looking at his rap sheet here james rev expired insurance expired registration we started with that total of 454 dollars in fines there then we got him driving with no registration and driving without insurance, which he was fined $553 and suspended, license suspended for 20 months, received a year in prison. And then he was also fined $666, license suspended for 13 additional months, but was granted probation on the insurance charge. Yep. I mean, that was the guy that, if I remember right, he was the one that didn't have registration for a year and insurance for six months, or vice versa. And then it was all the additional charges that he picked up after we did more investigation. Possession of destructive devices, I think a couple of grenades. Possession of marijuana. Possession of cocaine. Possession of drugs with intent to distribute, because... He had a bunch of it. The courts found him not guilty of that charge. But on all the other ones, his total fine was $7,500 and eight years in prison. So he'll be going away for a while. And then Mr. Mike Stone here, who I think he's the one that had the IEDs, I think, if I remember right. And then possession of cocaine. And he was found not guilty on the possession of cocaine. And he was fined $612, two years in prison. So that's what ended up here. Not all the time do they end up guilty. They're not always guilty, guilty, guilty. But uh, that's the way it rolled today in this episode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode of LSPDFR. I am the Gen X Gamer, and thank you so much for checking out this brand new episode. Checking out the channel, watching all the other videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And we just got perpetual sirens here. I'm trying to do my outro, and I've got all these sirens. Good lord. Anyway, guys. I really appreciate it when you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, I enjoy doing these videos. So, until next time, this is the Gen X Gamer signing off. Have a great day. Uh, bye bye now.